A confidential report to the United Nations Security Council says there have been attempts to smuggle weapons from the Democratic Republic of Congo through Rwanda to rebels in Burundi, where there is an ongoing political crisis. Burundi insists that Rwanda is training a rebel group with the sole purpose of returning home to oust President Peter Nkurunziza. Rwanda is dismissing those allegations. For some insight into the Rwanda-Burundi feud, David Himbara, a political analyst and former economic advisor to Rwanda's president, Paul Kagame, joins me on the phone from Toronto, Canada. Uh, Dr. Himbara, welcome to Africa 54. Oh, thank you so much. It's now, my pleasure to participate on your program. Yes, now, a question many people ask is, why would Rwanda want to oust uh, President Pierre Nkurunziza of Burundi, the neighbor? Well, he has not uh, hidden it, uh, he, he has not hidden his agenda himself. He's gone publicly on a number of occasions, uh, claiming that uh, Nkurunziza has not delivered uh, uh, to the Burundian people. And then Kagame sees himself, uh, I guess, as the defender of the Tutsi in, in, in the region, in, in Rwanda, in the Congo, and Burundi. And he was claiming that um, there was genocide uh, against Tutsi developing in Burundi, which, of course, has turned out not to be true. Mm -hmm. Now, we know that uh, they were not always enemies. I mean, when did things get sour between uh, Paul Kagame and, uh, uh, and, and Mr. Nkurunziza? Yeah, actually, initially, uh, Kagame was, so, was a kind of pre pre president. Kagame was a kind of, uh, you know, godfather to Kurunziza uh, initially. Things seemed to go sour uh, about a year ago. You may recall um, when the 40 bodies, 40-plus uh, bodies, turned up uh, in the lake shared by the two countries. And uh, Burundian authorities did an investigation and pointed the finger to Rwanda that those bodies came from Rwanda. Rwanda was very displeased to wanted um, um, to this thing swept under the rug, but the Burundians, for their own reasons, uh, stuck to their gun. I think that's that we saw the beginning yeah. of the souring of relations. And then when uh, Nkurunziza. Uh, at, um, then drove, uh, you know, this uh, pro his third term project. Mm -hmm. I guess Kagame saw an opportunity to say, "Hey, you know, here is me, my turn, my chance to hit yeah. back." Now, given that actually, it seems like uh, many people across the continent, even the international community, are in favor of Mr. Nkurunziza stepping uh, down. Would uh, this perhaps be beneficial indirectly to Africa and to the world if Kagame helps? To oust Mr. Kurunziza? No, <laughs> no, no. Look, I think the, we ought to leave the Burundians saw themselves out. Uh, th there is no one country that has a right to to solve other people's other countries' uh, problems. Later on, Rwanda, uh, who has had a fight with just about everybody, every country in, in that region, there, you know. Uh, you, you remember the Kenyans closed the embassy back in the 1990s um, after you know, assassinating an assassination there. The, the Kagame has been at war with South Africans because of assassinations. He has uh, invaded Congo. The UN group of experts uh, a few years back established that, which led to aid suspension. So, so why would of all countries be given uh, you know the, the a green card to to mm -hmm. sort another country out now could uh, very quickly in a few seconds could also this be a distraction from his uh, ambition to be like uh, president for many 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 more years to come oh ab absolutely you know but it actually it's, it's quite ironic uh, that in the constitution that was changed in Rwanda they inserted uh, in, in, in immunity for Kagame after he leaves power and here he is now uh, messing up another country, you know. So it's a kind of a contradictory thing, you know. Wow. It's all about power. All right. David, thank you. Thank you very much. And we do really appreciate your perspective. Uh, David Himbara is a political analyst and former economic advisor to Rwandan President Paul Kagame.